The Earth's crust is divided into tectonic plates, which float on the semi-molten mantle. These plates meet at plate boundaries and generally interact in three different ways. At plate boundaries, plates can separate at constructive boundaries, collide at destructive boundaries, and slide past one another at passive boundaries. Plates separate at constructive or divergent boundaries. This is driven by convection currents in the semi-molten mantle. At these boundaries, new land is created. As the plates separate at the boundary, magma rises to the surface. The lava will cool and solidify to create igneous rock and form volcanoes and mid-ocean ridges. An example of this is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which runs along the seafloor of the Atlantic Ocean. This is an underwater chain of volcanic mountains running for over 10,000 kilometers. Iceland is an example of where the Mid-Atlantic Ridge rises above sea level. Iceland is a volcanic island made of igneous rock and contains over 30 active volcanoes. At destructive or convergent boundaries, tectonic plates collide. Again, plate movement is driven by convection currents. Along these boundaries, crust is destroyed and recycled back into the mantle as magma. As they collide, the heavier plate will sink below the other. This is melted by the heat of the mantle in a process known as subduction. The molten material, known as magma, will rise to the surface and may erupt to form volcanoes. Three quarters of the Earth's active and dormant volcanoes are located along destructive plate boundaries which border the Pacific Ocean. Two examples are Mount St. Helens in the United States and Mount Fuji in Japan. This active volcanic zone is known as the Pacific Ring of Fire. As plates collide, they may also buckle and fold to form fold mountains. Examples of fold mountains include the Rockies in North America, the Himalayas in Asia, and the Andes in South America. The Andes run the length of South America along the destructive boundary where the South American and Nazca plates collide. Many of the largest earthquakes occur along destructive boundaries. Examples include the earthquakes in Japan in 2011 and Indonesia in 2004. Both of these earthquakes occurred under the ocean along the sea floor and generated tsunamis which resulted in massive human casualties and widespread destruction. Earthquakes can also occur at passive or transform boundaries, where two tectonic plates slide or grind past one another. Once again, plate movement is driven by convection currents in the mantle. As the two plates slide past one another, they may become locked together. Over time, pressure and tension may build up. When this is released and the plates finally move, an earthquake occurs along the fault line. An example of this type of boundary is the San Andreas Fault on the west coast of the United States. Along this fault line, the Pacific and North American plates are moving in the same direction. However, the Pacific plate is moving faster and slides and grinds its way past the North American plate. The 1906 San Francisco earthquake had a magnitude of 7.8. This resulted in the death of 3,000 people and the destruction of over 80% of the city which lies along the San Andreas Fault. 